Hi, this is Joe Bonamassa, and welcome to Total Guitars, Me and My Guitar. Well, in this case, it's me and Bernie Marsden's guitar, who's nice enough to loan me his lovely 59 Les Paul. Serial number 91914, the legendary guitar that is the beast. Um, the last time this was on stage, um, Bernie was nice enough to loan it to me, so it's got my setup and my strings on it for this demonstration. Um, one of the most commonly asked questions I get from uh, guitar players, other guitar players, is who does your setups? How do you set up a Les Paul the way you like it? And the answer is me. Um, we string them with a top wrap. So these are Ernie Ball 11 to 52s. So it's a pretty heavy string. I believe it's one of the, I think the same gauge as Paul Kossoff used and, and it's a big string. So in order to make the guitar feel a little bit slinkier and not so difficult to play, you, we borrow the, the technique invented by Jimmy Page and uh, Billy Gibbons, which you top wrap over the stud, which lessens the angle over the bridge, so it gets a much nicer, slinkier feel, but it also retains the big heaviness of the strings, so when you hit hard, you're not playing out of tune. The action, that's something that everybody has to adjust themselves to taste. Some people like it right on the fret, some people like it a mile high. I like it just before the string goes under my, my ring finger. So it's pretty high, but it's not, it's not super high like a slide guitar player would, would want. And simply you just adjust these two thumb wheels. And intonation wise, I'm a firm believer if it's not broke, don't fix it. There's no such thing as a perfectly intonating guitar. And if there is, it would sound very sterile. Part of it, you want to get it close. You want to make sure that, that your A here, 440, is the same as your A here, 440. And if you can get it close, I can assure you, no one will hear the difference at your gigs or in the studio. You just want to make sure the guitar plays in tune and the guitar is properly restrung regularly. And you know, one of the most common things that makes a guitar go out of tune is strings that are old. Even if they're clean, old strings just do not hold tune and they don't intonate properly. So cut them off, you know, spend a fiver and put your new strings on. On the nut side of it, um, I'm a firm believer in using Big Ben's nut sauce, which is a graphite lubricant that basically allows the string to flow through the nut evenly while tuning and while bending. Because think about it, every time you bend a string, that string is moving through the nut. And if it never, if when you're not bending and you want just a regular string, it has to go back to the exact same place to create the amount of tension required to, to hold the pitch. So that's very, very important because a lot of people go, my guitar doesn't stay in tune. Well, start here and these little tubes only cost 20 quid and that's really one of the greatest um, things you could ever do to your guitar. Don't buy a new guitar, don't buy an old guitar and immediately change the tuners. Assess the situation on the tuners. If they're tight and they work, leave it alone. Don't immediately buy a new Les Paul or whatever and immediately change the pickups. If, they, if you like the sound of the guitar now, leave it because you may not get it back when you've put in every aftermarket brand known to man, unless you want to try the Joe Bonamassa signature Seymour Duncans. Sorry, bad plug. Pots, same thing. Leave it alone. Learn to love and enjoy the guitar because if you bought it in the first place, it means it's, it's kind of done something for you and you bond with it as a, as, as, as a geek and a, and a guitar really do need to bond. And if something goes wrong, replace it. If not, leave it alone and play it and enjoy it. You want age, you know, don't take the sandpaper, just play it. You'd be surprised how cool they look if you just play them for a year and use them but not abuse them. Thank you very much. This is Joe Bonamassa, roaming reporter at John Henry's, asking the tough questions. Who killed John Henry?